Hello and welcome to another video from erpdrill.com. In this video, we are talking about Server 2016 and HANA. HANA is installed on Hyper-V. So just to do a performance check, this is uh, evaluation version of 2016. Go into systems here, uh, more detail. E5, dual CPU, 112 gigs of RAM. And you can see here, it's uh, Windows Server 2016 standard edition. And again, it's evaluation version. And uh, um, uh, how many cores is the CPU? Good performance CPU and it's 24 cores. So each core, each CPU is 12 cores, and logical processor is 24. So 24 threads, 12 cores. So um, yeah, so that's that. And uh, let's go and take a look at the uh, HANA. Is a base. This is Sassy Linux SP12. Uh, Sassy Linux 12 SP2. Uh, installed and I've copied the files, uh, the HANA live cache and the uh, cockpit 2.0. Okay, so that is a HANA. And uh, yeah, so just to so these are the things that we'll be installing: the HANA 2.0. Then we'll be installing uh, that's the HANA 2.0 database. And uh, it's installed on a physical drive. I'll show you that in a bit. Cockpit uh, 2.0. Again, Cockpit 1.0 is no longer valid in HANA 2. You have to install the Cockpit 2.0 separately. And then HANA Live Cache. So the uh, VMware here is configured as a physical drive. Uh, just one second. Just paste it. I, I always paste it from the download into the main, uh, main folder. And I give it uh, the uh, all access. The R stands for recursive, so subdirectories get the uh, 777 uh, permissions as well. So you open the database, you install a new system, LCM, just type in LCM, install, I select everything for the installation. Access Advanced will be reinstalled again when Cockpit 2 is installed, single system. Uh, HANA 2.0 is not a FQDN on purpose because this is 2016 server and I want to keep it simple uh, without use of Active Directory and stuff like that. So HDB is the system ID. We're using multi-containers, okay? Multiple containers means tenanted database. So enlarge it. So I'm going to start the system on machine reboot. Uh, then just press next, next, next. Uh, again, certificate is not for FQDN, just for host name. Okay, access admin, org name, leaving it as is, just for the simplicity of this video. Uh, I'm leaving that, but I will change it in the final version of this video. Okay, it's very important, and always port-based, not hostname-based. We always go by ports. It's easy to manage. Okay, I'm going to install the WebID for development tools. I'm going to hold the, run, uh, the runtime tools for HANA. Only thing miss missing is the Eclipse engine, and we will be installing that. Okay, while the HANA database is running, I'm going to show you the uh, physical disk. So this is the physical disk that is used. So it's called a direct I.O. or direct or a pass-through disk. So the virtual machine uses a physical hardware. So just to check the speed, uh, we have a command on a thing. Use the HD parameter slash D. Dev SD4 is my partition for HANA. Okay, you take a look. And remember, the HANA installation is going on behind the scenes. So... It comes up as 223, so it's a bit less than 300. We go to close, we go close to 300 megabits, megabytes per second. So this is an SSD disk. It's a it's a Samsung Evo SSD, 961 terabyte hard drive running behind the scenes. So here is the installation. We let it progress while we go and uh, do a network test. So network is also a test uh, that we do between the Linux Hyper-V Linux and uh, the uh, the Windows machine. So iperf is the, the command, uh, the software that we use. So this is the server end. So I'm going to put the iperf here as a server. So it's listening. And I go into the HANA server here. Uh, before that, I need to find my IP address as well. So check my IP address. So that is my IP address. Um, okay, 29 and 30. So it's dual adapter, but it's not bonded or it's not teamed. It's a uh, uh, functioning as individual. So slash C is a client and put the IP address. This is from the Linux machine, 30. 
uh, slash these directional so up and down stream and uh, t is 15 seconds i want to know what is the bandwidth for 15 seconds so it transferred 105 megabits 105 it's a bit less than 120 130 because of the installation so uh with hyper -V, we've been getting close to like one uh, gigabit of uh, bandwidth 1.5 gigabit of bandwidth uh not not what i not too happy about that because you can get a lot more with uh, vmware but we will do that in the next video we'll do a test with vmware so we'll do the reverse where we're doing the uh listening there and going back and and uh and a client on the windows server so again same thing you put the ip address that's 36 on the hana 36 just to check again confirm i have config and you can see there's two adapters so here the adapter is is uh, in slave mode and we have 36 and we are one directional slash d and uh, 15 seconds time 15 seconds okay and again it's uh, identical so okay so it's less than 120 megabytes per second all right so that's that so just to make note the network performance is um this is directional 100 and or approximately approximately 110 megabits per second no megabits megabytes sorry for the confusion guys megabytes per second mb bytes bytes per second and um, the disk io was 270 again megabytes per second Okay, and this is all hosted on a Hyper-V 16 server or server 2016 Hyper-V uh, fit physical direct IO physical hardware direct okay this is just to keep track on our next video we'll be doing the VMware and see what the performance is on the same HANA so this 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 or we do all this testing before we build a server to make it easy for our customers so you can see the HANA installation is progressing fine okay it's installed the studio the smart screen access engine the database has successfully installed um, okay so everything looks good Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the live cache and we're going to install the cockpit 2.0 in a closed terminal for that. Okay, so it's stored here in data 2.0, computer data 2. So open the LCM engine. That is not the, this is the LCM from the, uh, the uh, installed uh, HDB okay and uh, data 2 needs to be given it has to be extracted so copy the sub car uh, it's the extraction engine extraction software sap car sap car and uh, we're going to extract the live cache first imdb okay so that is done now i just want to give it uh, uh, ch mode uh, lcm open the lcm okay lcm this is the lcm that's installed on the hdb okay add install components next i'm going to add a component and include subdirectory file system data to 
HANA LC apps or Life Cash apps. Okay, before that, just to CH mode the uh, so this giving permissions is it, it creates it makes life a lot simple. R means recursive, so all subdirectories get okay. And now we just go and select. data to I'll see apps open and I just select sub subdirectories but in this case there's really nothing there so install live cache you have to enter your passwords now with the password for HDB ID admin HDB admin next upgrade so this this shouldn't take much long it's basically installing uh, the live cache so your S4 HANA comes with something called the SEM optimizer. We won't be using that for this uh, series of videos, but we will be using it when we install the SEM and the APO on uh, HANA. Okay, so while that's installing, let's extract the uh, cockpit, cockpit 2.0, which is about three gigs. So that will install the, uh, or uh, upgrade the excess engine again. So sap car or uncar the SAP asterisk dot SR. Okay. Okay, so we let it do its thing. Okay, so um, live cache has been successfully installed. So again, let's I'll delete that directory, and uh, we'll begin the installation process for the cockpit 2.0. So ch mod again, since we have. Uh, uh, install the new subdirectory again recursive means uh, all the subdirectories will be given the same permission 777 so open LCM from your installed uh, HDB okay add update a component press next add component again select subdirectories or oh, selected data to okay since there is multiple components include subdirectories press ok and you can see here they all come up so we're going to update again again there's nothing to update if you look at the numbers and do your passwords okay now the next screen is very important because that's where the org name comes up. So if your org name doesn't match, you will have an issue here. So I, since I left it originally the same, I left it. It usually doesn't pick up if you make the change in the front. It doesn't usually pick up. You have to manually change it. It'll just come up as org name. So click install cockpit version 2.0. Okay, click on that. Yeah. And press next and we'll begin the 
process for this. So the advanced runtime. So this is a lot different from the previous version uh, where it was a lot simpler, but here the, the objective behind that 2.0 is that we can manage multiple machines under one cockpit as opposed to previously each machine had its own cockpit. You had to go to the machine right click and say go to HANA cockpit for that machine. So here we have a central cockpit and you add resources and uh, take it from there. So we'll just go to the access engine, find the URL. So you go to access, go to bin, binary. Uh, you have to open a fold in privileged mode. So you have to go into your um, HDB. Let me try if it works here actually. So the, the command is access admin login. So you need to, so it doesn't work, so you need to go into your HTB ADM user, enter your password, and go back into that directory again. Okay, CD, again, the, it's HANA shared HTB access bin. Okay, the command now is the same as before, access admin login. Enter your password. So um, most people will create a user and then add the DBA cockpit uh, role to that particular user. We're gonna use access admin since this is a training system. We're gonna keep it simple. We'll use XSA admin for all access uh, apps maintenance. So the uh, URL for all of the different apps is there. So you can see the cockpit maintenance uh, here. That's a web UI for the maintenance part. But before you can do the maintenance, uh, I mean, it'll be an empty thing. You have to do the, uh, you have to do the um, admin. So the, go in the admin UI and add the users, add the resources. So that is a video in itself. So we'll be going into that uh, in the next video or the video after. So again, this is just a, a video to see the performance between uh, Hyper-V on HANA, where you install S4 as opposed to uh, VMS. So we'll be uh, installing S4 in the next video and we'll take it from there. Okay, so in the next video, we will uh, begin with the S4 1610 version. See you in the next video. Bye.